Hi, I'm Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a digital audiobook from an audio CD for iTunes, for your iPhone, as well as your iPod. So before we begin, let's define some terms first. What is uh, What do we actually define as an audiobook? Uh, an audiobook will be um, an audio CD which contains something that is spoken audio, such as perhaps, uh, you know, a sermon, uh, a seminar, or even, you know, some audiobooks. Uh, there's a lot of audiobooks from maybe, you know, Audible or CDs that you actually buy. They actually come with those. Um, uh, they actually sell you know, audiobooks and CDs out there in shops. And if you actually want to turn all these into a digital audiobook, what is a digital audiobook? Uh, a digital audiobook is basically a special file that iTunes, your iPod, or your iPhone actually recognizes and uh, actually gives it some special features and actually treats it like uh, as if it were uh, a book. So let me just show you some of the features that I'm talking about here. All right. So this is actually my uh, iPhone, and I'm just going to show you right here. And this is an audiobook uh, on my iPhone. Now, if you notice some of the features that's, that are available, um, the first one is that you can actually control the speed of the audio. You can speed up uh, the speaker's voice. You can actually slow the speaker's voice as well. And uh, the iPhone as well, the iPod, can do it without distorting um, the voice. Uh, the other feature, this one is exclusive only to the iPhone as well as the iPod Touch, is uh, the ability to rewind 30 seconds. So if you actually you, you miss um, something, you can actually just push this button. It will automatically rewind back by 30 seconds. Uh, as well as uh, bookmarking. All right. So what this means is that if I actually leave um, this particular audiobook right now, all right, um, and then I actually go listen to something else, when I actually come back, it will continue off from exactly where uh, I left off. In fact, if you actually take a look right here, it will actually show me um, the amount of time that I actually have left uh, for a certain audiobook. Right, so uh, you know it's actually to be able to record this, and the cool thing is that if you actually sync this, actually sync this back uh, to iTunes when you come back home, um, you know, you and you play that particular audiobook from iTunes, you continue exactly where you have just uh, left off from uh, uh, the audiobook itself. So to begin, let's actually head down to the computer, uh, my computer, which is right here okay so the first thing of course you gotta do is you need to import uh, the CD in iTunes which uh, I, I'm actually preparing to do right here if you, as you can see here this is my uh, this is actually my my uh, uh, audiobook it's, that's inside there all right and then on the devices audio CD okay, before I do that though I want to actually change the importing settings all right so to do that I'm just gonna go right here under import settings okay and uh, the import settings that we want to use is import using AAC encoder and the setting choose spoken podcast all right and um, the, the reason why we want to do this is because this particular setting allows you to maximize um, the, uh, the 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 file size all right so once you've done that click on OK all right the next thing we want to do is that we want to join the tracks into one single track in this case right here we have six different tracks so for the, the, the thing how do you join tracks you select all the tracks and then you click on advance and choose join CD tracks but what's this the join CD tracks button is actually grayed out now this is something uh, this is the second time we're actually doing this particular video and since then a lot of people have actually written to us actually asked us questions that you know telling us that hey the join CD tracks button is grayed out what's going on now there's only one reason why the join CD tracks would gray out all right uh, two reasons actually one is perhaps uh, you know you did not select all the tracks which in this case we did but the second most common reason is because the tracks are not sorted according to track number in this case if you take a look right here they are sorted by time so if you take a look at the tracks is two four three one six five this is not track one to six um, so as a result you cannot join a track so to solve this click on this particular column right here and it will sort them back from one to six okay so remember if the join CD tracks is grayed out this is the only reason before you can join a track you must make sure that all the tracks are sorted according to track number this is very very important okay so stop writing to me and asking me about that particular question make sure that one all the tracks are selected two the tracks are sorted according to track number okay so now we can go to advance and now we can say join CD tracks and if you take a look right here all the tracks have been joined into one single track okay so now we're gonna just customize it click on get info all right so for um, we're gonna put um, the artist number uh, the, the artist name and then you know uh, audiobook so we're gonna say uh, test audiobook all right and then um, that's it 
click on OK. There, there is no need to actually set um, the track names. The reason because is uh, once you actually import it, they will, uh, iTunes will actually ignore the track names. And uh, the track name, that one single track, will be named according to the album name. Okay, so once you're ready, just click on Import CD. And now we wait. And that's it. The audiobook has been imported. As you can tell, little green little tick right here. That means it's been completed. So let's take a look at that file. So let's go to the music library and uh, let's sort everything according to date edit. Let's scroll this up to the top right here. And there you go. 14 megabytes for a 30 minute track. Not too bad. All right. So here it is. So the next step, of course, is to turn this one single audio file into and digital audiobook so just right click on file select get info okay go to the options tab all right choose remember playback position skip when shuffling right um you know and then under options on the media kind choose audiobook okay so let's just explain what did, what did we just do we choose skip when shuffling so that means that if you actually choose to shuffle your entire library you will not end up with this particular audiobook playing in the middle of uh, you know all of a sudden uh, remember playback position um, that just kind of does that does the the, uh, the bookmarking uh, feature and media kind audiobook once you're done click on OK and you'll notice it disappeared from the music library and now you can find it in the audiobook library and I'm going to choose uh, sort by date edit as well. Scroll all the way to the top, and there you go. Uh, here is that track. Uh, I actually, you know, do encourage you guys to clean up the ID3 tags of your music or your audio files when you import them. You know, makes them easier to find them. All right, so that's it. You just created an audio book. It's as simple as that. It really is that simple. And um. Uh, it's a lot simpler right now. You know, in the past it used to have. If you go watch our previous video, it's so complicated. Uh, the one I'm using is the latest version, actually, iTunes 9. All right. So, so uh, you know, you might want to get iTunes 9. If not, I believe iTunes 8 actually allows you to do the same thing as well. So, how do you actually find your audiobooks right now? Now, this is in uh, fifth generation iPod, and I'm gonna just go to this. Right, find your audiobooks. Go under. You know, go cl click on music. And uh, it's not on under your normal ones, it's under this section called audiobooks, okay? So pick it, and then when you actually play an audiobook, uh, you will just continue off exactly where you left off. To actually play with the features, hit the center key, you know, the, the center button, right? Push it, and then the features will start to scroll. Uh, so this one is, uh, so you can take a look, uh, album, not sure, rating the stars, here, here you go. So now over here you can actually change the speed, so you can actually go to faster, or you can go to slower. All right, and then uh, once that is done, you can just you know continue listening to it. And as as I said earlier, it's separate from the rest of your music. It's actually under the audiobook section. Now, likewise for your iPhone or iPod Touch, okay, to actually find it, uh, you need to go to click on the More tab, and then after find the audiobooks, and then uh, if you actually use it a lot like I do, just hit the Edit button and pull that button to the bottom, right, which I have already done. So all my audiobooks are actually here. And uh, you can also create albums as well. I do recommend you create a single album for a huge. Maybe if it's a, it's, let's say if it's a similar kind of a uh, audiobook, you can actually do that. Um, you know, also if you actually have a lot of uh, a certain a s huge album, you know, sometimes we actually buy, you know, albums, audiobooks within an album, and they come in like six different CDs. You can actually turn them into albums as well, and then uh, you can actually find them in albums. So uh, actually be able to show you, you know, part one. Of uh, up to part nine and so on and so forth. Right. So that's it. That's it for my little short little tutorial. I hope that it actually helps you out. It does help me a lot whenever I do this uh, audiobooks and uh, helps me really organize my my library a lot better. Helps me find my things a lot easier on my iPod as well as my iPhone as well. Um, if you want to check out all our other videos, you can visit tech65.org all right uh, we have a lot of uh, we do weekly gadget reviews and stuff like that you can check that out there's our show called gear 65 uh, you can also listen to our audio podcast there as well and of course uh, once in a while we actually do uh, event coverages uh, gadget unboxing and stuff like that so if you like this content that you just watch why don't you just go subscribe to our youtube channel and or else visit www.tech65.org so that's it for this episode i'm daniel we'll see you guys next time goodbye